Hey everybody, we're Frisbee Automotive here. Checking out this nice 97 LX450 with all the goodies. Pretty much if it was on the Christmas list, it got put on this machine right here. Customer found this machine, brought it to us with the specific goals of building exactly what you see right here. Moderate lift, 35s, triple locked, ARB front bumper, sleeve sliders, sleeve rear bumper, full size spare tire. BFG ATs. Look at the fitment on that slee slider right there. With the mud flap, perfect fit. Everything looking good. Safari snorkel, front runner roof rack. Nothing too loud about this machine. It looks like it fits in. It goes down the road like a dream. This car drives perfect. Ultra smooth ride. Look at that ARB bumper. Intensity lights. Got the Warren 12K on here. Look at that. Mm, it's not married, but it is engaged. Look at that. Very nice. We even got our custom Frisbee Automotive skid plate underneath. That's 3 8 inch aluminum. Formed strong. It does the work. It gets worn out. Very functional. That is not for looks. Look at that. All nice, triple locked, rear geared to 488s, front and rear Eaton, electric lockers with the factory switch. Right there, all functional, all working. Ultra clean ride, look at the interior on this thing. Look at that leather, all factory, never been touched. Look at this, look at that, would you look at that? 168,000 miles. Very nice. We got the Pioneer. Pioneer double den with reverse camera. Reverse camera, Bluetooth calling. Microphone works perfect. Sound quality is excellent. Very nice. Did I say triple locked? Yeah, it's triple locked. It needs that. Everybody needs that. You don't have that? You need that. Put it on the list. Check out some stuff back here. WeatherTech floor mats. Look back here in our sleeve. Double swing out. This bumper is all function with a hint of fashion. Looks great. Full size spare tire. Got our fancy Yeti cooler there. Ooh, look. Bear proof. Let's open this up. Ultra smooth. If that cooler weighed 100 pounds, 200 pounds, it wouldn't matter. It would still swing out just as smooth. Let me get this one open for you. It takes two hands, whatever. That's what she said. High lift jack, extreme model. This vehicle is actually going to be put to use in the field. This is not for looks. Reverse camera. Installed nice up out of the way. Wiring tucked in. There's the front runner roof rack again. Look at that. Got the shovel, got the ax, everything you need to hide and bury a body. Did I say that? Take that back. This, we got rigid A-series back here in red to help protect the night vision. So you're digging around back here looking for your stuff. Look at that. ARB double drawers, loaded, onboard air, winch accessories, Battery jumper stuff, tools, equipment, everything you need. Stores it all nicely. Still got plenty of room in here for the family, for the trunk. Got some uh, 12 volt outlets right there. That looks nice. So you can mount your ARB fridge here on a slider. It would look real nice. We got storage over here on the sides. Ooh, shop towel. Nice. Very cool. Looks good. And again, the A series lights up there. Pretty darn bright even in the daylight it's really gonna help you see when you are trying to find what you're looking for the truck is so clean this is one of the nicest ones we've had in here for a long time look at that mm -mm -mm. that's what you need xm radio extra 12 volt outlet right here you never have enough of those so nice Oh look, here's a good one. All these extra 12 volt outlets, we gotta have a way to power those up. 
looky there custom fuse block that way we got our own power running to this I believe it's a six gauge wire that runs right from the battery right back to here and oh my goodness it's even labeled everybody loves labels labels and spreadsheets that's what we like weather tech mats only way to go got some sleeve stuff all rebuilt front axle rear axle nitro gears E locked look at that Woo. intensity lights do a great job let me show you under the hood under the hoods where it's the fun part not long after this vehicle was purchased we found in our inspection one day it had a freeze plug replaced with an aftermarket freeze plug that seems odd why is that come to find out the block was cracked at the freeze plug darn it so this is a brand new engine toyota engine short block everything's been redone retouched touched up belts hoses everything this is a fresh drive train fresh engine i should say beautiful installed perfectly by our professionals here every wire is reattached if a hose was poor we repaired it clamps were redone nothing was left to chance got all kinds of cool stuff going on in here got another custom fuse block right here for the lockers and for the lights i believe custom lid fits right there very nice got a custom uh, auxiliary uh, block here mounted to this heavy duty hold down we don't want that battery going anywhere got a dual battery set up the big bad agm over here that's wired directly in over there whenever the vehicle is running the two batteries are connected so they will charge each other when the battery vehicle is shut off this battery is disconnected so we got all of our accessories there's that uh, there's that big wire running to the back for that fuse panel we got all of our accessories running off this battery so if we accidentally leave something plugged in or we run that refrigerator for too long out on a trip out in the woods it's not going to take down our main battery we'll still be able to start it we also have a jump switch inside where you can hit that switch and connect the two batteries just in case maybe you let your main battery die down too far. If it dies down too far, you're kind of stuck. Press the button, hook them together, off and running. There is all of our combiner relays and fuses and things like that. Take a lot of time to make sure these jobs are done 100%. Very nice. It's a cold day. Is it cold where you are? Again, this was built for use. The customer will be using this. And here's a feature we'd like to showcase a little bit here on this particular truck. This is something we're going to start using on more of these builds. We were able to modify and build where the turn signals go on the ARB bumper. They're kind of redundant. I mean, we got turn signal there. Why do we need one here? We still got the LED marker there for turn signals. That still works. But behind this magic panel right here, five amp Anderson connector you could plug in jumper cables uh, if you didn't have a winch built in you could plug in a winch lots of modularity with that we can plug in all kinds of accessories that goes straight to our junction block under the hood looks great works great I'd say it almost looks factory ARB call me I'll let you buy the idea even though you're gonna rip it off after you see this need something to match over here matching blinker light shameless plug looks perfect that's all built here. It's built to work. Absolutely beautiful truck. I wish I could take you for a ride, have you see how nice this thing rides, but it rides absolutely perfect. Tell Santa just to watch this video and to start making a list. Tell him to make his own dumb list. Because this is all the stuff you want for yours, I know that. Oh, forgot something back here. What is it? It's good. Close that up. Long range, long range fuel tanks. So we got dual fuel tanks on this bad boy. Did I just say bad boy? Oh my gosh. Sorry about that. Old man Emo. Two and a half inches. Heavy duty springs back here for all the extra tools and fuel. Great fuel tank. Works perfect. Oh, looky there. Another Anderson connector. 
you need to plug in a winch or again accessories, jumper cables, whatnot back here. Very nice. Maybe you haven't seen the long range automotive fuel tank in action. It's very easy to use. Look at that factory fill location. No weird hoses, no weird gadgets or gizmos. Factory location, if you want to fill the main tank, you push this knob in. If you want to fill the auxiliary tank, you lift this knob up. Ba boom That's it. Fill it up. Good to go. All factory looks great. If you want to see how much fuel you have left in your auxiliary tank, you've seen this before. Got our gauge right there. Factory gauge still works for the factory tank. Got plenty. Auxiliary tank, you want to fill up from the auxiliary to the main tank. Get the button to press. The pump turns on and fills from the auxiliary to the main. You want to stop it. Good to go. Works perfect. Very, very cool. This is what you want. I can't think of anything else. There was so much on this list. This is this is several trips, several trips down to get this whole vehicle built how he wanted it. He's gonna pick it up today, and I guarantee he is gonna love it. So give us a call, Frisbee Automotive. There we are, 308 West Madison, 972-937-4161. We can do this for you, and you will like it. I promise. If you don't like it, I'll tell you you're gonna like it. I'm gonna make you make you like it. Like it!